Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you about the 2018 Camp Light 11 FK. It's a nice, uh, well-built, small little travel trailer. This one does have a tent bed option, kind of making it a hybrid. Uh, we'll see that when we go around in a little bit. But first, let's start off with the front kitchen here. Uh, one of the big things about the uh, Camp Light line is that they try to use as little wood as possible. So as we go through, you will see a lot of aluminum and a lot of Asdell, uh, pretty much in any place that they could put it. Now there is still some wood, like when we take a look at the drawer, but again, as we go through, you can see the quality components that are used. And as I mentioned, starting on the kitchen, you can see the beautiful solid surface countertops here. This is something you normally just don't get in a really small, lightweight camper like this. When I remove the sink top cover, you can see the high-rise faucet there, the uh, undermount stainless steel sink as well. And when you put this back, you have both the sink top cover and the cooktop cover here as well, so you're able to utilize all of this as prep space. When you lift that up, you'll see the two burner recessed cooktop. The glass top here kind of doubles as a backsplash, which is nice as well. And then right over to this side is your electrical outlet. That way if you need to plug in a coffee maker, toaster, griddle, whatever it may be, uh, that is where you would do it. Right over to this side here is a window. The windows in here are pretty nice. Uh, they, they work a, kind of a couple different ways. So right here when this is down, you see you have your nightshade for privacy. When you lift it up, it has a screen. So what you essentially do with these windows is you unlock them like so. This will come out, it will actually uh, lock in place. You can lock it out and then you will pull the screen up and that way you can get nice airflow coming through. Uh, if you don't want the screen there, you can have it completely open just like it is right now. Otherwise, you bring it back in and lock it right in place. If we take a look underneath the uh, countertop here, one of the things you'll notice is the compartments have the nice airplane style latches on them. They work very well. Just push them in to lock them, push the little button there to release. And when we open that up, you see the extra storage you get underneath the sink here. Good storage down underneath. And again, you can see the aluminum framing instead of wood. You have Asdell composite panels here. Same thing with the doors, you know, nice Asdell panels. Uh, so as I mentioned, you know, good quality components throughout. Take a look over to the side. You can see you have wardrobe space right there. Nice spot to hang up your clothes. It's right outside the bathroom. Underneath that, you have the uh, drawer. This will probably be for your silverware there. I know it's kind of weird to have hanging space in, the, uh, in your kitchen's area, but again, you know, it does make sense because of where the bathroom is and it's really not another great spot to put it in here. So I'm honestly just uh, happy they put it in there at all. And then right down below, you do have additional storage there. Right next to me here is the bathroom. When we open this up, you can take a look inside there. Wet bath, foot flush, lever toilet. Your floor is your shower pan. Right up above, uh, you have the, uh, the hand wand there, so it's nice and easy to take a shower, LED light. And then up top, you have a nice big vent fan to quickly help moisture escape out of here. If we look over to the side, we move uh, further into the rest of the kitchen, which is our fridge freezer here. You have the nice uh, metallic panels on there. We open this up, you see the freezer up top, of course the fridge right down below. Cut out right here for some taller items, and then down below you have some freezer drawers there. But this unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Right down underneath that, you'll see the furnace here. This one does have propane on board. So if you're uh, you know, camping in the fall or early in the spring when it's a little bit cooler, that will certainly help warm it up. Right up above me, again, you have another vent fan. So not only does this help with any kind of smells or anything you have from the kitchen when you're cooking, but also for cross ventilation. If you don't want to run the AC here, you can just open up some windows, turn that guy on, and it will create a nice cross breeze. Right over here is the dinette. Uh, now, as I said, the tip out you see right there, uh, that is optional, so you don't have to have that. You can just have the dinette here if you want, if you want a fully enclosed trailer. Uh, but I kind of like having the tip out there just because it gives you a little bit of versatility as far as sleeping space. The bed's about a full-size bed uh, there in the, in the tip-out tent area. 
Uh, but this right here also makes into a nice large bed. The table does drop down right here along the rails. It's nice and easy to make up, creates a big sleeping area. Otherwise, during the day, it's a great area to sit and hang out. You can entertain, you can have people over, enjoy a meal together, play a game together there. Uh, it's just a really nice space. Right underneath, you will see you have an electrical outlet as well as a battery disconnect. That's convenient too. Rather than having to go outside to disconnect uh, your battery, you can just flip that switch right there and it kills all power to the coach. Makes it really nice for storage. Uh, if we take a look right over here, you see this one does have a TV that already comes with it. Uh, this is great, again, if you want to sit here in the dinette and watch TV. The other thing I like about this is it is already pre-wired to your multimedia center here. So if you want to watch a DVD, you can pop it right in. It's already good to go. This unit is also a radio and CD player. It does control the speakers inside here, uh, as well as the ones outside. This unit is also Bluetooth capable. Uh, right down below here is your awning control. You'll see when we go outside, this one does have a power awning there too. Uh, nice window over here. So again, that will uh, have some cross ventilation as well as let in a lot of natural light. Same thing with the one right across the way. And then right up top, you see good double storage. You have that on both sides of the dinette here. So good storage up top. Another really nice feature of the U-shaped dinette is the massive storage you get. On all three sides, you will see you have these plastic tops here. You just lift up the seat, open up this top, and you get huge storage underneath the entire dinette. Uh, so now it's not super easy to access just because you do have to take the cushions off, but for such a small camper to have that much storage is phenomenal. If you take a look up front there, you will also see uh, that tip out bed I talked about. This one is uh, 46 by 68 inches, so a fairly good size bed. You have the cables holding it up, so it's a very easy setup as well. You basically just push the one rod out there, you lock it in place right up top, and the cables will support it. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at the outside of the Camp Light 11 FK. Starting right up front here, you do have a powered tongue jack to make it nice and easy to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. You simply have to flip a switch to raise and lower the tongue. And then you also have a light up here in case you need some extra visibility at night. Right behind that, you have your two 20 pound propane tanks. Very easy to access those. Just undo these two thumb screws here, lift up the door, and that will give you direct access to the tanks. And then behind that, you will see the rails for your batteries. It is large enough. If you want two batteries there, you do have enough space for it. And as you can see, directly underneath that is your spare tire. One of the other things you probably noticed is the fact this does have an aluminum frame on there. That definitely helps for weight, helps keep it nice and light, and uh, still maintains a lot of durability and rigidity. Right above that is your black diamond plating. This helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. So you come around to the side here, you'll see the beautiful red exterior. This is a fiberglass skin on here. Behind that, again, they use Asdell composite panels rather than Luon. Uh, the big advantage of Asdell, especially on an exterior wall, not only is it lighter weight than Luon and it doesn't have your off-gassing, but also it won't absorb moisture. So if you ever do get water into the sidewall, you won't get all that delamination from getting water into uh, your Luon substrate, like what happens on a lot of other manufacturers. Getting into the coach is nice and easy. You have two aluminum steps. Again, aluminum is important. It does not rust. Those steps will stay looking nice for many years to come. Then you have the foldable easy grab handle on here. Most RVs, especially in this size, just have your uh, grab handle right against the wall. Having this extended grab handle does make it a lot easier, especially for that first step when climbing inside this RV. You see the two outside speakers here, as I had mentioned, those are controlled by that multimedia center inside. This unit also does have a power awning. Just touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. Again, something that's not very common on an RV this size. Not only does it have that power awning, but underneath there, it also has an LED light strip. So that way you can just flip a switch and you have lights at night. So you don't have to get up there and hang up your Christmas lights yourself. If you do want outside TV, these are your hookups right here for it. You have a cable outlet as well as your electrical outlet here. Now bear in mind your electrical outlet you can use for anything. If you want to charge a cell phone, plug in a crock pot, electric griddle, uh, you can do that there as well. Another thing you will notice is right here on the campsite, you don't have any vents. So you don't have to worry about a bunch of hot air blowing on you. 
even though it's a shorter camper, you do get to use basically the entire space here as uh, usable camp space. You'll also see the beautiful aluminum alloy wheels. Not only do those look really sharp, but again, you don't have to worry about those rusting out on you. And then they did uh, give you nitrogen filled tires there as well. When we come around to the back side, this is that uh, pop out, that tip out bed right here. But if you take a look underneath, something that is pretty cool is you have this big storage area. Now, if you look over to this side, it does share that side storage area with uh, part of the U-shaped dinette. But this back space right here is nice and uh, easy to get to outside. You do have to bend down a little bit, but again, it's still fairly easy to access. When you come around to the off door side here, this is where your hookups will be. Uh, your water heater is right over here, 30 amp detachable power cord, cable inlet, shower access with both hot and cold water access. Uh, this is your uh, fresh water inlet, so this will be your uh, to fill your tanks. It is gravity fill. City water inlet right over there. This unit does have um, a uh, black tank flush on here, which is quite nice. Again, something you normally don't get on a small RV like this, just showing you some of the extra things and the quality that Camp Light's putting in their units. This really is kind of nice when you're done camping, rather than sticking a hose down your toilet to wash out the black tank, just hook it up right there. It has, the black tank has sprayers built in and it will wash it out for you. You do have your furnace outlet right over here. And then lastly, this one is prepped for solar. So if you want solar, all you have to do is buy the portable Furion panels, plug it in right there, and it will trickle charge your battery. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Camp Light 11 FK. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching, I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.